talking about other games and sales <laughs> for like 20 minutes. Uh, oh. Welcome again to Stray Gods, the role-playing musicals. Maybe a discount version of Baldur's Gate 3? Probably not. <laughs> Probably a bad comparison. Uh, yeah, an indie game. I know it has to do, like, it, it um, is heavily inspired uh, by Greek mythology. So that will be big. Also a lot of music. No, no, you're okay, Cypher. All good, all good. Um, and yeah. I think uh, from the trailer I saw that there's murder. So we'll see if you're gonna be a detective in this game or what's going on. Oh yeah, um, let's start a new game and see what we get here. Our teams are across the road and try the show. This game was made on stolen ground. Uh oh. You have to call the police? I hope not. I'd like to acknowledge. The Wurundjeri and Boon peoples of the Kulin Nation and the Gadrigal people of the Eora Nation. So our identity was never ceded. This game was also built on Treaty 6 territory and territorial meeting ground and home of many indig indigenous peoples, including Cree, Saltoxes. Okay. Hmm. Sounds. I mean, I'm not an expert, but that sounds like indigenous people of North America. And kind of like they are saying that the United States was stolen ground. Mm. You know, as a European, I feel like I'm not entitled to this discussion. But yeah, like. <sighs> so, no problem, Pamara. I mean, like to say that the, tr uh, the treatment of indigenous people. Has been poorly, not in the United States, but in a lot of other countries as well, is a given. They should be treated with more respect. Let's say with that. Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma. And where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there. If they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this one better. You should try that. <laughs> try additioning naked. Um, well, let's have a positive attitude for the start. I see what you're doing, Freddy. You're just trying to make me feel better. How about making us feel better? We sat through this too. I'm so sorry you all had such a rough time. Freddy has a bad idea. What else is new? Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? 
Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> Oh, we can romance her. Oh, I wish Panda were. I mean, Panda want me, would want me to romance her. Oh, fuck it. We want the romance. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> Well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, hey, don't, don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just, I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. No sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Is the world too much? Or just me everything I set upon unravels at my feet everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze, I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, I just, I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> All right. Well... See? 
Okay. Trait. We can be charming. This is Grace with soul and charisma. She tries to do the right thing and everyone likes her more for it. Kick ass in your face. This Grace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. Clever. Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This Grace is sneakier, smarter and witty. Hmm. Is this for the entire game or just for now? Okay, since we don't know, let's just assume it's for the entire game. Would we rather play someone charming? Tries to do the right thing. Everyone likes us more. Hmm. I'm debating between clever and charming. Uh, by the way, so far, just a warning. Since I know this is a game with a lot of dialogue, or at least I expect you to have a lot of dialogue, I probably won't be able to read your chat messages out loud every time. But I'm reading them. I hope you're not upset about that. And yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> All of them auditioning or singing naked would bring in the show. And the cops. <laughs> Okay, the thing is, from the trailer, I already know that we're gonna get in some trouble. So, and considering that, going for kick ass. And probably just intensify that trouble. Clever. I mean, clever is most my style. Everyone likes her more for it. Okay, now the question is, do I play what is most my nature or kind of the opposite? Because it plays somewhere like, oh, everyone likes me is so not up my alley. Mm. She tries to do the right thing. That's good charming. Maybe if I lean upon my friends, raise the alarm or call for them. Do I have the heart to trust they'll keep me safe from harm? Wow. What? was that your song was just so wonderful i had to finish it with you i hope that's all right i also know what it feels like to be lost to feel as if you have no place to turn that's why i had to come inside I'm glad you did. That was... 
I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like... The music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is... just beginning. It was so stupid. Hmm. Try me. Well... I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. I so feel that. I feel like that as well, like Grace does. Uh, about the audition, I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Great. <sighs> see you then. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I didn't know where else... I'm so sorry, Grace. did this it it doesn't matter now i didn't want to do this to you i not like this i'm so so sorry what do you mean hey calliope please please come on Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. <laughs> I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Did you do this to her? Did you hurt Calliope? 
If you did. Her cow? No. I wouldn't ever. Like, ever, ever. She's the best. <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. It sucks, but, you know. The chorus? You mean the authorities? Oh, are they coming? I guess they're authorities? But they're not coming here. We have to go to them. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? <laughs> with me so far? Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Literally a 20 second explanation of you of you god now. <laughs> I'm so digging it. <laughs> Ooh, now. Uh, uh, where are we? Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything, okay? Wait, come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'll just wait here and uh, not touch anything. We're touching something. We're touching something. Hermes said no touchy touchy. Beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Someone died in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Uh, who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, <laughs> I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that... You are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. R 
Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now... Fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. But gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just... Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all-powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or... Mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and, well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now, too. And an idol. That is true. That... That thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon. The part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol. Which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Okay, so... Our chosen trade offers us the response, but that isn't fair. Which sounds really whiny, and I don't like that, but I guess that's what we chose, so... You want me to die? But... but that isn't fair! I know, I know, but consider it from our point of view. A dear sister, someone who traveled with us through the ages, gone. But I didn't do it! Aren't you supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Can't you see this isn't right? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But... It isn't... It... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! have been the tools that she you must know has. I didn't do it is it weird this isn't song now that the muse is gone now that she's gone I'm afraid you'll have to see Justice won't be ignored. I 
disagree. Thank you. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? Uh, and what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? We need to find the truth. Let me prove myself. I want the trial. I'm gonna pick we need to find the truth because it's I'm trying to get Grace out of the center of attention so that it actually is not on her as the prime sus suspect because those two just scream I want to defend myself And those have a standpoint of like, they think I'm guilty and I have to prove my innocence. Whereas this is more like, let's just figure out what happened here without uh, judging anyone from the start. There has to be some way to find the truth. Aren't you gods? Couldn't a god, if, I don't know. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. Uh, so I live. What just happened? How to prove my innocence? I mean, if I just ask, that it's gonna be for now. What just happened? Well, you're not dying yet. Wait, wait. I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction. You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, well, our original verdict stands. Yikes. Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. I knew you were going to say Bitch. that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Oh, boy. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Uh. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise... Do whatever you must to find the true killer, if they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. You for real? <laughs> We're gonna kill you in a week! Dude, take a cookie. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? This serious fuck fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Sorry, I just saw that my mic's a little over. 
so I turned down the volume a little. Okay, I saw a couple of journal updates. Okay, we have our characters here. Uh, Freddy. Uh, stop friend from the start. Mama's been best friend since forever. Edge of Elysium is her brand. And she invited Grace in. Okay. Calliope. Um, uh, was one of the muses. It's the same with being as a god, apparently. I know where she lives, what she got up to, who her enemies were. I have so many questions. Yeah. Did you plan? Museum. How did you know where Grace lived? Interesting questions for sure. She seemed so sad. Hermes? Guess they're the god of doorways, maybe. A uh, divine messenger, I think, is like the official thing from Greek mythology. To me, Hermes is not that suspicious. Aphrodite. Apollo. Persephone. Time to head home. Alright, that's all we can do for now.
Oh. Grace? Grace. Uh. Hi. 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace... We thought something happened to you. What? Did something happen to you? Yeah, I mean, we're not supposed to tell a mortal. If we ask about the body, it's gonna, just gonna sound strange, so we have to make the story. Uh, yeah. Kidnapped by aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> you were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. Okay. It's none of your business, Freddy. Okay, you know I didn't mean that. This is totally my business. Hi there. Uh... Ah, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Hmm. Okay, now I feel stupid. Did the thing say? No, she did say not to tell mortals about idols, right? Not just mortal authorities. She said not tell mortals, especially authorities, they can't help you. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? But he's some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol. Just some time. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? So we can just talk about this, in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling, and here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk <laughs> about what? Grace, tell me. The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Okay. So how long we talk? Huh. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? And stirring the pot. Mm. I don't know. Honestly, most suspicious character so far, Pan. Because just from this sentence alone, you know, Freddy's not a model of world. And Grace was supposed and uh, was told not to reveal, uh, re reveal the existence of idols to the mortal world. This is like really some. You know, walking across fine lines between the rules, you know. 
doing stuff that's kind of not okay, but not okay, you know, but not so much down the road that you actually get the trouble. Kind of, kind of sketchy feeling, to be honest. I had proof. I mean, the body's gone. The blood from our hands is apparently gone. Are we hoping it's all a dream? Mm. Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical door. Which sounds extra cool. <sighs> I was a little distracted. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. Oh, we have help! What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? Yes, you please. next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. I love Freddy! Camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye, it truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. Okay. I like Freddy a lot. Uh, what's in it for you? So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. The there we go. To me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. Uh-huh. Lust and mischief. There we go. There we fucking go. I knew he was fishy. Seems rather convenient you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not gonna tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. Ready to have any good info? Absolutely, Sandra. And it's good that they give you a character who, like, knows a lot about Greek mythology and can be like, oh, this person is the god of this and that. Um, because if the player... I mean, I used to be, as a teen, I was very into, uh antique mythology, specifically Greek mythology. I even did a research project in back at school, in middle school, on Greek mythology. But that was like 17 years ago, so like, a lot of it is just gone. And it prevents you from just ha constantly having to, um, you know, stop playing and Google, oh, okay, who is that uh, character in the mythology to have like, you know, some info. Uh, how do I know you're not the clone? Evo! Hey Evo! Hello, hello! Welcome in! You know, you could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas! And alas! And alas! <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. I wonder why that question is still there. How's the day, Evo? Happy to see you again. It's been a while. <laughs> I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. 
who said I was doing anything for free. Ah, uh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Pretty okay. Let's go down for work, so I'm a bit tired. Well, I hope you can relax a little bit. Maybe make yourself a cup of tea. All right, Pam, hit me with your advice. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. What do you mean, my province? Each of us has, uh, how shall I say, our talents? Yours is music, as befits a muse. <laughs> You're like the original rock star, Grace. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's wasting. Freddy, he's got me shaking. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Something in me's awakened, but this goat guy thinks I'm some great ingenue. I'm doing it now, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't follow. Are those really actual horns? And this singing is so hard to swallow. <laughs> Can you hear me, Grace? What's going it's on? Showing on the door, Paul. My body's shivering, blood is thickening. 
take it outside. So wait, are you saying you won't work with Freddy? She couldn't be less qualified. Um, we're in a band, you do understand. She could go solo. Let's let the idol decide. Okay, so we choose. Can I break it to you, Pam? But I'm not abandoning my best friend. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality. How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my, such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. I'll make them sing a song of confession. <laughs> exactly so. But only if they did it, right? I draw out the truth, not make them lie or do something they wouldn't. Oh, you will be a natural at this, I can tell. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. Yeah, well, be polite. Um... Yeah, interesting. So you have the option to choose which ones, uh, which is gonna be the character. Okay, so you either choose to be supported by Freddy or Pam or go solo. Interesting. Her address? Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Of course. That's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? Okay, so another option to choose? Uh, then I'll definitely need backup. You'll be fine. After all, what's a mortal to do that you cannot? I, uh, I can speak Hindi. Okay, fine. I get it. I need to find Kaz and Brian. Just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta.